बसमिल्लाम्स अलैक्म फ्रेंड्स होप श्योर यू ऑल गुड दिस इज़ सईद मे फ्राम सुपीर यूनिवर्सिटी एम फिल स्टूडेंट सो गाइज इन दिस वीडियो आई वन शो यू हाउ वी कैन ईजीली रन पैनल वी ई सी एम मॉडल सो गाइज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट आर द प्री कंडीशन फॉर द पैनल वी ई सी एम मॉडल actually time series and panel we ec models are same i have two references one ever we have a uh, time period in our uh, model and uh, one ever we have time period 20 years per cross section when ever we have more than 20 years data in this case panel data tend to show time series properties and we call it panel time series data so again uh, whenever we have more than 20 years data in this case uh, panel data tend to show time series properties so as uh, as uh, i have a data file in which i have used 45 years data and whenever you have a, a large data set large time period in this case to run gem gmm model uh, random effect fix effect these are not appropriate model so whenever we have a uh, long time period in this case we is a model is appropriate but uh, we have different preconditions for the panel we is a model the first one is that first of all check the unit root and if you find a variables are stationary at same order means if you find all variables are stationary at the first difference then uh, after checking uh, unit root and you find that all variables are stationary at first difference after this check co integration if you find co integration then go we is a model what if you don't find co integration in this case go for war model so again check uh, unit root if you find all variables are stationary at first difference in this case go for co integration and if you find there is a co integration then go for the vecm model so guys what is co integration co integration means long run relationship among variables co integration means in long run your variables will move together like i have this example the old man and dog the dog in the hand of old man the side dogs go the old man also go there so guys uh, look here both of move together both old man and dog is moving together so whenever your variables move together this is called co integration so hope you get the concept of co integration co integration means long run relationship among variables means in long run uh, your variables move together so again look here we have to perform four step first in first step we have to uh, check for the unit root and in step 2 we must go for the optimal lag length in step 3 uh, we should confirm either co integration exist or not at step 4 we uh, should apply we is a model so guys here i have my data files suppose i have check unit root and i found all variables are stationary at first difference again suppose i have already checked unit root and i found all variables are stationary at first difference so i am not checking here unit root but in your study you must check unit root so i am going on second step i am going for selection of optimal lags how to choose optimal lags select your variables like dependent all independent open as var here you have no need to change anything go to view lag set structure actually i have annual data for the annual data uh, we may add 1 to 5 lakh so i am adding here 2 lakhs suppose 
you can add till five lakhs. Look here, these three criteria are most famous. Like uh, according to HQ, optimal lag two is optimal lag for SC. Uh, two is optimal lag for AIC. Also two is optimal lags. So guys, mostly criteria are showing a uh, two is optimal lag. So uh, I'm going for a next step. At step three. I must check for the co-integration. Either co-integration exists or not. Look here. I select your variables first. I select my dependent variable, then my all independent variable. Open as group, then go to view, and then co-integration. Look here. As my data is panel data, so click on panel co-integration test. I have three tests on the base. I can uh, on the base. I can confirm either co-integration exists or not. So first of all, Padroni. Select Padroni. You have no need to change anything from here. You can uh, add intercept and individual trend uh, or individual intercept. So it's better always start from here. But it's all up to you. So I am starting here. Okay, so guys, I have different eleven values here. I have different eleven value here, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You can see all values are significant. So, what is rule of thumb? if we have more than half value significant if we have more than half value significant we say there is a co integration null hypothesis no co integration actually we have all uh, all values significant so i can reject null hypothesis and i can accept alternative hypothesis which is there is a co integration so i check co integration with first method now our I want to check with cow. So guys, look here. Probability value is less than five percent, and null hypothesis. No co-integration. Actually, whenever you have a uh, probability value less than five percent, we always uh, choose null uh, alternative hypothesis. As uh, probability value is less than five percent, so I have to reject deal this. Uh, null hypothesis means no co-integration. Uh, so probability value is less than five percent. So it means there is a co-integration among variables. So also I can check here with Fisher. So here I can choose optimal lag. You can see, friends. Here we have two tests. Fisher trace test and maximum eigen values. So again, probability probability value for the trace test uh, indicating four co-integration equations because uh, four probability values are uh, less than five percent means there is a co-integration. Here also uh, three co-integration exist. So. we can see there is a co integration among variables now whenever we have co integration we must go for the vecm how we can apply vecm model select your first dependent variable then all independent variables open as var open as var actually we have confirmed that there is a co integration and after co integration if co integration exists then go for the panel vecm open as var and select from here vector error correction and from here you can see asking from you you must supply here you must assign here your optimal uh, your co integration equations so we find four co integration uh, four co integrating equations but <coughs> 
बट अकॉर्डिंग टू क्रिस ब्रॉक वट एवर यू फाइंड क्वेंटिग्रेटिंग इक्वेशन बट ऑलवेज पुट सिंगल ऑलवेज पुट वन क्वेंटिग्रेटिंग इक्वेशन एक्चुअली ऑथर ऑर्ग्यूड इफ यू विल पुट वन क्वेंटिग्रेट क्वेंटिग्रेटिंग इक्वेशन देन योर रिजल्ट विल नॉट बी कॉम्प्लेक्स सो टू अवॉइड फ्रॉम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी वी ऑलवेज पुट हेयर वन इवन वी हैव टाइम सीरीज और पैनल डाटा क्लिक ओके so friends here we have our long run uh, relationship our dependent variables so here you can see is my coefficient value standard error and t values so what is the rule of thumb when our uh, our t value comes more than 2 actually 1.96 If our value comes, if our t value comes 1.96, this value indicate uh, significance relationship. So here you can see t value is more than two. So there is a significant and negative association. So you are saying why there is a negative association? Like here is a positive sign. So always remember you must change signs here. you must change sign of all coefficients including constant why we change sign please uh, search my video on youtube so friends if you want to know why we reverse the sign of long run coefficient so please search by these words uh, from youtube so again for this my uh, my t value is more than 2 uh, so there is also a significant and negative sign uh, actually i reverse the sign air coefficient uh, sign sh sign showing positive uh, association so after reversing there will be a negative so and here also probability value is less than 2 so there is a no significant association between this variable and this dependent variable so the first portion uh, the first portion indicate long run relationship again you must change the sign of your coefficient why we uh, change the sign of coefficient please search my other video from youtube by writing these words now here this value show your co integration uh, uh, error correction term this is your error correction term which show long run uh, elasticity so guys uh, what is error correction error correction term must be negative and in between 0 to minus 1 but i have seen two papers in which authors applied uh, error correction term between minus 2 more than minus 1 like you can see here i have a paper in which author said error correction term to be negative but not more than minus 2 mostly author say there must be neg uh, 0 to 0 and minus 1 but uh, here i have also if you want to uh, find this paper please search this is the title further i have an other look here authors um, applied here minus 1.27 error correction term so i emailed to the author and he reply me this and i also confirm this concept that can we have a error correction term more than minus 1 so uh, i also apply uh, i also email to walter anders uh, econ applied econometric time series author he also um, replied me that yeah we have uh, we can uh, have error correction term till minus 2 so friends look here this must be negative 
एंड सिग्निफिकेंट वट इज मीन बाय नेगेटिव एंड सिग्निफिकेंट लुक है एर क्वेश्चन टर्म टेल्स एस द स्पीड विद विच आवर मॉडल रिटर्न टू द इक्विलिब्रियम फॉलोइंग एन एक्सॉजिनस शॉक so i want to say suppose uh, due to any reason if my dependent variable uh, go uh, uh, go uh, from uh, the suppose due to any reason our dependent uh, our dependent variable go ahead from equilibrium so minus minus sign show that our dependent variable will come back to the equilibrium point with this speed if this value come positive means our dependent variable go ahead further which is not desirable so these are our short run uh, results again coefficient again coefficient standard error and t value so but you have no need to reverse the sign here we have only need to reverse sign of long run equations so how we can run granger causality as well as go to view and here these are the results of granger causality thank you so much uh, actually my battery is dead take care